United States government has criticized the arbitrary arrest of Godwin Ibefele, the former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, and Nnamdi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, hypo by security personnel in Nigeria. Are you sure these people are not trying to play a fast one on Tinubu? In its 2023 country report on human rights places or practices, Nigeria published Tuesday on the U.S. Department of State's website. The U.S. highlighted concerns about lengthy pre-trial detention, denying detainees access to court and frustrating the court's judicial system. The report revealed that in the prosecution of corruption cases, law enforcement and intelligence agencies did not allow uh, do not always follow due process, resulting in the arrest of suspects without appropriate arrest and search warrants. Regarding Amy Fede's case, the report detailed that he was detained by the Department of State Services for investigative reasons on June 10th. Although a federal high court in Lagos granted him bid on July 25th, ordering him to be heard at the Ikui Correctional Center on the bill was made, the DSS attempted to arrest him again, leading to a confrontation between DSS agents and Nigerian Correctional Service officers. Similarly, Namde Kanu, designated as a leader of a government uh, designated terrorist organization, IPOB, was detained by the DSS on national security grounds. Despite being charged with treason, terrorism, and illegal possession of firearms, Kanu fled abroad in 2017 after skipping bail only to be arrested and returned to Nigeria in 2021. 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yes, okay, four years after. In 2022, an appeal court in Abuja dropped all charges against Kano and ordered his release, but the federal government appealed. The Supreme Court overturned the appeals court ruling in, on December 15, stating that Kano faced terrorism charges despite acknowledging rights violations during his arrest and extradition, Kano remained incarcerated at that at the year's end. The report also highlighted challenges within Nigeria's judicial system, including a shortage of trial judges, trial backlog, endemic corruption, bureaucratic uh, inertia, and undue political influence. He said delays in cases where Cases were exacerbated by logistical issues such as the need for more vehicles to transport detainees to court and authorities losing case files. Overall, the U.S. expressed concerns about Nigeria's judicial system's inadequacies, emphasizing the need for fair and transparent legal process, processes to uphold human rights. Okay. Okay, this is the website the same thing we said concerning how uh, apc used talks to oppress voters during the presidential and governorship election where well, us should mind their business when emifele was killing innocent nigeria through naira scarcity where were they really mm. <laughs> but it is true Sha, that what they have said is true but you are just saying they should mind their business really mind your business and go and persecute donald trump What's it concern US with Timmy Fele? This US government said hey, they're way so. <laughs> but you are always uh, going about try to refer to what happens in the US. If they want to borrow money or whatever, you'll be so happy. But if they have come to hail uh, Tinumbuna, ah, you'll be so happy. Well, some people are saying it's fake news, really. Fake news. Mind your business, USA. Whenever you catch someone like a Fele in your country, you can celebrate him if you like. The problem we have is that if these people have committed offense, that is why Nigeria government is disgracing itself. If they have done anything, now the case of a, a Dasuki now, what happened to it? Nothing, nobody saying anything. The case of a Oju Zokalu, nobody saying anything again. Is that what you are saying? If somebody has done wrong, why can't you jail him? Now see the case of Bobriski. No, 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 they don't put him for this thing. What are you saying? The case of Enam de Kano is still there. So if they said he's committed this offense, why is it that they cannot jail him? And so, yeah, uh, we have sentenced him to how many years this thing? Why is it that they cannot do it? Are you telling me they are still looking for what is it called? 
they are still looking for evidence or they are still investigating the matter. I don't understand. Those are the things they are talking about. Nobody is saying that uh, they should con they should condo or they should support or defend the uh, Emifele. If you are sure of yourself, why keeping them? It's unfortunate. Mind your business, mind your business. So this is all the US government can see and comment on. So the US government has not even seen the uh, whatever being committed by Fulani bandit terrorists. How many crimes fosters and public fund looters and terrorists do the United States indulge themselves? That is not what they are saying. People are just trying. You are trying to just manipulate what they have said. Do the right thing. You are not doing the right thing. You says people have committed offense and you are not charging them towards that. What's it concern US with Semifele? Now what's it concern the night they don't talk so when a nation is going astray, it's the duty of a foreign government to call them to order. When a country judiciary system is in dismay, foreign investors will also be watchful because when judiciary system are too bad, human rights is not protected, then the foreign investors are not even safe either. Let executives stop interference in judicial cases. They want to eat their cake. The Nigerian politicians want to eat their cake and have it. It's not possible. You want foreign investors. And that is a key point. So with this one, you think what is their business? In fact, they are, they are damaging your judicial system and your country. Because no foreign investors will come. You just go and waste your money, do a manner of things, you come back, nothing will happen. So you think, uh, oh, US you should face their they should face their problem. It's none of their business. You know that uh, it's a dent on the country. You don't know. You think it's a uh, policies we are talking about. And that is why the politicians will revenge on the people because if they don't see any money or any investors coming in it is you that will pay for it they will not they will not suffer it is you and the more these things continue to happen you are saying they should mind their business the more you continue to suffer mm. yes human rights is not protected then the foreign investors are not even safe there let's executive stop interference in judiciary cases Give a suspect a free environment to defend him or herself. Nigeria is not mature enough to call independence nation. How can a court of law discharge someone and security agencies will not obey court order and they will see who the person? This is not called democracy. Democracy is rule of law. President also must obey the rule of law. It is not above the law, but in Nigeria, president is above the law. And above everybody, shame on Nigeria system of governance. And some people are shouting, "Stop the interference! Stop interfering in it! This is none of your business." The government of Nigeria is not happy the way U.S. took President Trump to court. Hmm. Release Nam the Kano now. The government of Nigeria has no moral justification to keep him incarcerated incarcerated anymore. He has defeated the federal government on all his cases earlier culminating in his discharge and acquitted order by the court of appeal in 2023 he should be released now to cool the unrest in the south so that our governments and governors abuses has become a national benchmark so guys let's say your opinion and have your take on this thank you